As if 3D Sin VR wasn't already amazing enough, it's been catching some steam lately from people playing it in pass-through mode. Literally putting these NES games in your own home. Admittingly, the pass-through mode with the Quest 2 isn't the best, but you still get the AR effect just the same. So if you haven't made the jump to the Meta Quest 3 yet, you can still enjoy how awesome 3D Sin VR is with this feature. To get these NES games into your home, you need two programs. 3D Sin VR, you can get this from Steam, and Virtual Desktop. Make sure Virtual Desktop is installed on your PC and you have the app on your headsets. Links to both programs can be found in the description below. If you need help getting 3D Send VR set up, I have a handy beginner's guide in my description below as well. First thing you want to do is open up Virtual Desktop on your PC. Make sure that the streamer is ready. Next, we're going to go to the Quest 2 and open up the Virtual Desktop app. We're going to launch Steam VR from Virtual Desktop. You may have to hit the menu button while in Steam VR to have your game show up. Go to 3D Sin and make sure you are opening the program with Steam VR mode. I recommend doing these steps first, that way you can see the menus a little bit clear. Once 3D Sin is open, hold down the menu button on your left controller and you'll get the virtual desktop menu. Go to the streaming tab and at the bottom you'll see an option for VR pass through. Hit the configure button. Make sure you have the black box selected at the top. You can set your similarity between 10 and 15% or you can mess with this option to suit what fits you best. Put the smoothness at 10% then click close. Next you want to put a check mark into the enabled box. Click on switch to VR and now you can see that you are playing 3D Sin in your home. One last thing is to go to the settings tab in 3D Sin VR to the skybox option and set it to all black. What the program is doing is taking out all the black from the game, so that's why some games look a little bit better than others, but for the most part it looks really cool. And if you're clever you can do something like this where you're playing your games on like a desk or a dresser, and because the TV behind it is turned off it gives it a nice black background, and it fills in that extra black and makes these games pop really nice. Protecting my consoles from the alien menace. Or Donkey Kong. And that's all there is to it. If you need any help, you can go to the 3D Send Discord linked in the description below to get some assistance. And that's it for me. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.